Hi everybody, Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. Welcome to day 20 of July Journaling Joy. This is an idea that I'm sure you've seen if you've been journaling or junk journaling for a while, but I thought it'd be fun to make one together and consider some options that would work. What we're going to do is do a, this is such a crowded mess, I'm sorry. We're gonna do a tassel or a charm, I guess is, is the right word, that comes out of the bottom of your book, your planner or your journal. I generally um, use the standard size traveler's notebooks for most of my um, creative journaling, I guess you could say, or when I'm recording memories. And so that would be a book that I would like to have something like this in. Um, I would also probably do a lot with um, of that kind of thing in my journaling Bibles that are all about being decorative, a meaningful decoration. Let me preface that. It's not just to have a stuffed Bible. It's the artistic expression of Bible journaling. Anyway, it's a great addition for something like that. So what I would suggest is finding a waxed linen thread. I have black here. This is the last of my waxed linen black thread, but I also have this waxed linen thread that I got from Amazon. It was like a book binding kit, and it came, I think, with this and a needle or something. Um, this is the natural color. And I bought this a few years ago. Um, so you can just search Amazon wax linen thread and I'm sure you'll get some, some things show up for that. I have not tried doing one of these in a cream color and I think that would be super pretty. But I kind of like these black accents in my books. I don't know exactly. Um, I just, I don't, I like it. I just think it looks nice and clean and professional or something. Maybe not professional, but I like the overall appearance. So what I like to do is kind of just eyeball it. I am not a good measurer. I have reaped the consequences of that at times, but for something like this, um, it's not too big of a deal. So I'm cutting it twice, two lengths, oh, fold it over length. A little bit beyond the edges. What you can do if you want is attach a charm at the top. So for instance I might want to tie on this feather. I would knot it so it doesn't slip down and get in your way but you could leave it unknotted and that would give you some flexibility with where the charm goes. I have a couple things like this that a friend gave me this ampersand and my initial. I have this cute turquoise tree. You can see, um, I think you can see, <laughs> hopefully you can see, all these charms, ide charm ideas. I have a little jar of miscellaneous beads and so forth that I get into sometimes. This would be cute on a, um, a book that you like a elaborate frilly touch with. It could be fun coming out the top of a journaling Bible. Um, I probably won't use these this time, but I do think that would be fun. It might be really cool on a December daily as well when you just are going over the top with embellishments. Maybe pick some seasonal colors for that. I just grabbed some offhand. I like this garnet colored one a lot. Um, so I'll kind of make it to fit in this, um, or I might stick it in our little sample book today too. I like the look it gives when you have a book that's already kind of chunked up and you have those charms or beads hanging at the bottom. I think that's a kind of a cool look. So that's why I set these both out. And actually this turquoise could work with either. This might be something to do too if you have books that you're already done with and you have a ton of doodads, maybe you can go back and just stick in some of these things that might otherwise be in your way, but now that you're completed, um, you're finished with your book, it's completed, you might enjoy having something chunkier 
as decoration. You know, it's a way to use it up and it adds a final touch to it, um, but it doesn't have to get in your way on a regular basis if, if that would bother you. You could always just take out your book charm. So I don't, I don't think I'm going to use this. I did want to point that out as an idea. I also have this other charm. It's got the hole right there and it's got a lot of this stuff that hangs down so I'm not sure how to use that. I had put it on a paper clip and that made kind of a neat charm so that's an idea you can think of too to attach any kind of charm like this to a paper clip and then it kind of moves around and just has its own little decorative effect but it's not real structured. The thing about some of these metal ones I find that they can kind of bulk up your pages so this is something I would add for me on a completed book so that might look really cute sticking out the top of this but I don't it it would get in the way to, to write over that so the first thing to uh, maybe not the first can have ten first things cut your um, string and then fold it in half and then just knot up a little bit based on where you want your beads so you can kind of come up with your plan I sort of played around with this earlier. Um, I thought I might use these lava rock ones with that sort of orangey yellow one in there. So the mushroom and these on this side. So you're gonna want to knot it, insert your bead, and then knot it again. So that way it doesn't fall off and it won't end up going up the side too far and hindering your writing. Um, so I would suggest, seems like it works well for me to just slide it in my book if I can do that. The simplest things are difficult sometimes. Okay, so it would be cute to have a charm up there or a bead or something. Now that I'm seeing this, I might want to do that. Do I want this? I just sometimes don't like that. I think actually just even having a bead up there could be cute. So you could tie on something like this. Here's just a clear plastic crystal bead. That might be cute. Well, decide on that if you want to add that, and then not where these two end threads, mine aren't even, so I'm going to try to pull them a little more evenly. Easier said than done when it's in a closed book. So knot it where you want the charm. Give yourself just a little bit of space, but put a knot in slide on your beads or charms and then knot it again. So I'm going to go ahead and um, do some of that and then I will show you what I've done. Okay, I decided I, I want this crystal bead at the top so I just put in my waxed linen thread and then knotted it underneath. That'll just hold it in place a little bit. I want to say too you don't have to use this waxed linen thread if you have any kind of cording um, you could use that. The only thing is is to make sure that whatever you have on hand or, or select um, that it fits through the holes of your charms or beads. Then I, um, let's just grab this here. I kind of went like this, so that's going to be in my book, planner, Bible, journal, and then I knotted it at the bottom. One thing that's nice about this wax linen, it kind of, um, you can kind of kink it. So I just did that when I was doing these knots. I kinked it where I wanted the knots. Then I just can work with it a little bit. I think I did just a single knot here. Depending on the pull of your charm, um, you may want to double that. And then just make sure you're not running out of thread. So um, I think, I kind of like the idea of this mushroom being by itself. So just insert that, 
This is always the tricky part, isn't it? Getting that knot where you want it. This is unraveling. This is kind of old. I've had this thread for a while now. So you can just do your basic knot. Sometimes I try to hold it in place as I'm tightening it. Whoopsie. Um, so the knot is as close as possible to the base. I still have a little bit of play there. I may go back later and add a, another knot. We'll see. It, it may be good enough. I don't want to try to do that now. But And then just trim that off. And this stuff stays together really nicely because of the wax coating. I mean, you can really just kind of squeeze it and it stays pretty tight. But you could also, um, you know, maybe add a little dab of clear nail polish or something. I don't know about applying flame to this. I do that with cord that's um, synthetic based, for example, like this paracord. You can seal that with a little bit of a candle flame or lighter flame or something, but I'm not sure. It may make this whole thing go up in smoke. And so originally I was going to do this orange. I like the orange and the black together, but it kind of is making me think of Halloween. And I, this has kind of a formal look to me because it's just black and white. I don't think I'm liking the orange with that after all. I think I want to keep with a more, um, I don't know why I say formal, but just a neutral, clean look. So I'm doing a lava bead, the plastic crystal, not real, um, which would be fine too. And I'm going to do that pattern. By the way, these lava beads, um, you can, if you have essential oils or you like using that kind of thing or any kind of scented oil, you can put some of that on there and have a nice little fragrance. So again, let me, uh, well, we can knot it together. I was going to turn off the camera, but camera. It's funny how our phones are our cameras, or in my case it is. When those first came out, I'm like, I don't need a phone with a camera. I've got a camera. I don't need a phone that does everything. <laughs> uh, it's like kind of funny. That was back when microwaves were popular too. And it was like, well, how did I live without this? Okay, that totally flubbed up. Let me undo that. This is why I don't do all this while I'm filming. Anyway, I will leave it at that and give that a second knot later. So let's just take a look and see how this turns out. So I've got a little bead at the top. I like that. I think that's kind of fun. I would say use whatever you have on hand if you do. That's one thing I'm kind of trying to focus on this month is using stuff that I have here. Again, don't worry if you don't have wax linen, try some embroidery floss. That may be a little bit hard to work with. It may fray, but it's worth a try. I also had that really fine ropey twine that I like to use. And so there it is at the bottom. Um, I would trim these, but I'm not going to do that now because I probably will knot them. I actually kind of like um, this black and white effect with this. There's some black and white and the printing there, and then of course on my date stamp or thing. I don't know if I'll keep it in here or use it in another book. My uh, preferences would generally be something with a little more color, but I had these and I wanted to use them. They've been sitting around for a while, and it's a nice look of its own. If you added it to something like that's got a ton of color already, it would be nice. I could have it coming out the bottom of this Bible to add a little more interest there, like these other charms. I realize I have two different charm things going here. One of these is on a cord, and one of them's the wax linen. So you can see how I did that one. That's another way, just tie a charm at the end. So use up those charms if you have them. This one is super cute. I kind of wonder if that would have been fun opposite the mushroom. Maybe I would have liked that even better. I don't know. Anyway, options for later. So there you go. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.